Welcome back guys, nice to have you here. I'm gonna show you guys how to map your customer experience when you've never never done this before or you've been doing it for a long time and you're trying to find a way to make it easier um, when you have less and less time to prepare. So I'm Vince again, I'm here to kind of help you guys through these you know, kind of tricks and tips and methods I've been using for the past couple of years. And when you look at your customer experience, let me start with what I've been doing and essentially I start with what I know, or if I'm facing a room full of experts, I start with what they know and I start to map things out. I don't pretend like I know something if I don't. So sharing your ignorance and being able to state the facts of like, here's what I know, here's what I don't know, and can you help me figure out like what is the product and you know customer experience we have today. So once you've done that, you can actually chunk and organize the information that people are throwing at you in a way that it's starting to connect and make sense around the product and service. And then ultimately, you can a bit, you, you're able to kind of assess and prioritize things in a way you can improve things. So I'm not gonna go through a concrete example, I'm gonna go through more a conceptual example, because um, that's the way I work and hopefully it's gonna help you guys out. So when I look at, you know, with what I know, I focus on the product and service per se, and then when I start to scratch and ask questions around the room, when I'm ma mapping things out, I go with the before and the after. So these are like the three different areas I use so people don't kind of, I don't want to say confuse things, but like, you know, they don't create a relationship between certain activities that they're not ready to create yet. So it's the first way to organize product and service before and after. Because the customer experience is all about the before, the during, and the after. So let's say you have your product and service and you've mapped like the current product and service in four yeah, I got four. So four four boxes, right? So four activities, four events, four moments. And then you have the before and after. Let's say you got three and three. All right, let's make it easy. Well, then you start to organize and realize like certain things happen in parallel. Certain things are happen like in series. And then you start to realize like there's connections between events where they're related to each other. So there's always a relationship between those events before and after and during. And then you start to ask the people like how great or bad are we, you know, for each one of those activities. And then you start to get a sense of feel of what are the pain points that you have. Again, this can be done in less than an hour if you're mapping things out on the board. And then you start to organize things. So I'm just, I know I'm throwing a lot of information out there, but uh, the way I organize things, again, the same whiteboard session, let's say you have, you know, uh, a couple hours with the guy during a morning, um, I just look from left to right, you know, resource, complexity, benefits, and that feeds my likelihood. So each different activity or step uh, during the customer experience, if you want to fix things, you're going to ask people in the room like, so what is, how many resources, you know, how much resources, how little resources do we need to fix this thing? How easy is it? Are the benefits felt by the end user? or only us and then you know if you compound all those things on those specific activities then you can get like a likelihood index of you know how likely are we to work on this thing and how likely you know uh, are we to benefit or how likely is the end user um, you know, able to benefit so you know that's kind of that you know my approach it sounds easy it's not easy because we're in the room you're kind of drowning in details people are throwing details at you so you need to figure out a way that you're going to end up with this board you need to be able at the end of your workshop to have this board and have to at least if not all the activities but at least a handful of activities like at least five activities where people get a sense of accomplishment that you know what we actually understood what these things are about we understood what type of resource complexity and benefit is going to drive if we work on these things and ultimately that feeds your next workshop sessions with it was going to be detailed on one of those activities probably so that's it guys again it's what i've been using you start with what you know you chuck and organize it you assess and prioritize I'm Vince. Look forward for the next video and see you guys later. Bye, guys.